whenever we talk about romantic compatibility marriage compatibility the love compatibility how do different people will connect with each other how they're going to share their lives and their resources their emotions that overall uh, reciprocation in a connection we just look at the ashtakot milan where we compare we analyze the moon nakshatras for both individuals but there's more to compatibility and that's why we do look into the planetary synastry so significant so apart from uh, the moon because moon talks about the emotional compatibility the mental mental compatibility right there is something which we often miss when we do the compatibility analysis and that is how the sun moon align in the two different horoscopes the most uh, used technique is to see the mars and venus which is the venus in the man's chart and the mars in a woman's chart it talks about the compatibility it talks about attraction passion love so that interaction is great to see how they are aligning but something which talks about the soul connection something which talks about love how genuine the connection is whether it will be long lasting or not maybe one day all that attraction will go away but all you need is a very strong friendship companionship love and a very spiritual connection so that needs to be seen through sun and the moon and there are two ways in which we can see this sun is the purush it's the masculine element and moon is the prakriti which is the feminine element and we have to see how these two planets are connected in two different horoscopes especially when you are checking the compatibility between a man and a woman with respect to love marriage romance you need to assess them so in a man's horoscope sun will always show you this person's very core and strength how this person can give a lot to others what this person's qualities are and how much he can give and protect uh, the significant people that strength is definitely seen from sun like how much you can give how much you can do for others that that very true core is seen from that the moon in a woman's chart is her ability to give nourish as a provider like what she can do how she brings the best in you you can see through the moon and for man of course it's the sun so when you compare the man's sun with the woman's moon you will understand how they are as givers how strong they are in their life so separately first assess sun in a man's chart and moon in a woman's chart okay and you, you see the sign placement you see the nakshatra placement the house placement and of course see whether the sun and the moon are connected with saturn rahu ketu that is very crucial that's a very important aspect okay now you see how the sun and the moon of these two people is interacting whether they have like if the man is having suppose sun in cancer and the woman is having moon in cancer it's a very strong compatibility i think the potential to be with each other and to support each other is amazing so you have to see what is common between the sun and the moon are they in same house are they in same sign or you see the alignment you just have to do uh you know superimpose the two charts and then see how the sun moon are aligned how they are in a certain axis okay so if um suppose a man is having sun in the first house and the woman is having moon in the eighth house this is a challenging alignment 
this shows uh, emotional uh, challenges in the connection where uh, the man is very powerful sun in the first house is a very powerful placement someone who wants a uh, quick reciprocation quick a uh, solution to things and then the woman having moon in the 8th house i think her ability to give a lot to act instantly it's very overwhelming so you have to see how you know the sun and moon are uh, are placed in the respective charts and it shows the potential the power of these people to give something to others how they reflect their own self uh, to others now the second way how to see the connection because in a man's chart the sun and in a woman's chart the moon shows the true strength the true masculine the true feminine qualities and what they give to the world now let's reverse it now you have to compare the moon in the man's chart and the sun in the woman's chart and now you see how they are connected to each other whether the man's uh, moon and the woman's uh, sun are in the same sign same house see the alignment there is this one aspect of ashtakoot milan we call it as the bhakoot milan in which we do see the axis of how two people's moon are aligned with each other suppose one person's moon is in cancer and the other person's moon is in gemini so it's a 212 alignment which is not so good a 311 alignment is amazing so in the same way you have to see and what you have to do is to superimpose the two charts that's it you have to see the synastry how the sun moon are connected in some way either in synastry either in some kind of alignment so what happens when we connect uh, a man's moon to a woman's sun in the chart to see how they align with each other this shows the union this shows how long term the connection will be how strong the love is because all that uh, attraction and everything like it is not long lasting it is all about um the very emotional and spiritual connection which will make things better so it is something very common like suppose the man's moon is over the woman's sun like they are in the same house or they are in the same sign it makes the connection very long lasting even if they are um seven places away from each other it is very good so when we compare uh, a man's moon with a woman's sun it is about the exchange of their love exchange of their uh, resources and how much they can uh, be with each other how much they can uh, share their um, energy their dedication towards each other that exchange is very uh, significant how they connect with so the better the connection of the moon and the sun into horoscopes the better the relation relationship will be and it will be long lasting suppose a man's moon is um in the 4th house and a woman's sun is in the 10th house so yeah there are seven places away from each other and it's a very strong connection they beautifully balances the home and the work life it's a it's a very beautiful connection of completing each other's journey one is uh, more focused towards home not a shrink uh, every uh, person taking care of everything and the one takes care of the world one takes care of the responsibility so a beautiful balance uh, happens here now if a man's moon goes into suppose um sixth house and a woman's moon go uh, a woman's sun goes into the 12th house now again it's uh, a 7 seven, seven connection but what's happening here they both have something challenging in their journey so the relationship can be long lasting but they may face many struggles they may face many obstacles in life so you have to see how uh, 
the moon and the sun aligns number one see individually how a man's sun is placed how a woman's moon is placed and the second thing is how the man's moon is connecting to the woman's sun because that will show the overall reciprocation the share of responsibilities the commitment the divine union the very spiritual essence of this connection so i hope today's video was useful we will be coming up with certain examples so that you can understand more better and so many uh synastries are there which are never discussed in detail so i think we will talk about that as well in the coming videos